Hi, my name is Dan, and uh, welcome to my humble abode. We're making uh, an old Sicilian recipe of artichokes, the old world way. We start out with a beautiful hand-picked artichokes that I personally hand-picked. Better shut the water off. Where'd you get them from? Where'd you uh, get them Whole Foods. From? Oh, okay. Where they are not, they're, they're made the way God intended them to be made. And uh, what we do, as you can see, these have already been started, is we, we cut the bottoms and then we cut the tops. Okay? Let me get these out of the way. One second. Now, as you can see, I cut the tops right off. You know, you want to go take it down to uh, almost the bottom level of leaves. Okay? Then next, we wash them. Open them up a little bit, get them good and washed out, you know, and then shape, try to get as much of the water out as possible. Now what I do is I get another plate and I hang them upside down and let them drain out that way. Hello and welcome back to Daniele's house of fine Italian cuisine. Today I showed you how we cut and clean the artichoke. Now comes what the really important part of making this artichoke ah, taste fabulous. First, before we begin, I want to explain I always use plain breadcrumbs, okay? Maybe it's because my mother, who lives in Italy, showed me that's the way to do it. And that's the way I do it. So we start out with a bed, a nice bed of plain breadcrumbs. To that, we add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, some fresh chopped parsley, okay? And some Reggiano Parmigiano cheese that we put on top. And then four nice big cloves of garlic, freshly chopped, put over the top of that. But before we begin mixing that, we have to finish prepping the artichokes. Now the artichokes have been draining in this plate. So what we're gonna do is hit it with just a little bit of salt in the center and put them here for now. Little bit of salt to kind of ease the bitterness because it is a cactus. One of my favorite, actually my favorite cactus, apart from the ones I grow by my beautiful window. As you can see, I have two cactuses in my beautiful basilico. Okay. And stained glass picture of Monroe. Yes, my favorite cat of all time, Monroe. Okay, now, now that we've assaulted the uh, artichoke, we get back to the ingredients. I, the most crucial thing you could with this recipe it has to be fresh garlic, has to be Reggiano cheese, or you won't get the flavor that, that makes this dish. Once you have all these fresh ingredients, mix it up nice. Okay. Lumps of cheese. Okay. And also be very selective about your uh, artichokes as the ones, these are all hand-picked and they have to be firm. They can't be, if the artichoke is mushy when you squeeze it, don't buy it. Artichoke has to be firm. A firm artichoke is a fresh artichoke. Just a little green grocer thing that I like to bring out. I'm very selective about my produce. You know, again, everything about a meal is the ingredients. Fresh ingredients, good ingredients, make a fabulous meal. Okay, now that we've got our breading just right, we get back to these beautiful artichokes and we kind of open them up a little bit and we take a good handful and just start pouring them in. Okay? Pour them in. Like that, kind of spread it with your hand so you can get it in because the more we get inside, the more flavor we'll have with each artichoke. And make sure you get those chunks of fresh chopped garlic. Remember, don't ever substitute fresh chopped garlic for powdered garlic powder. You'll never get the flavor 
and it, it, it won't come out right. It has to be fresh chopped garlic, okay? And as we do that, we'll slowly put them in the Dutch oven, I like to call it. Okay, we're back. Um, we've taken all the artichokes, cleaned them, washed them, cut them, salted them, and we've stuffed them with the uh, ingredients I've shown you. And you, you can see they're nice and stuffed. Now the final touch, once you stuff them in this makeshift Dutch oven, is how I prepare them, is you put just a little bit of olive oil on top of each one at the very center, okay? A little bit of olive oil in each the top, okay? And once you do that, I put a little bit on the bottom too, and the three sides, like the three corners of Sicily, okay? And then we hit it with a little bit of water, just about, I would say about a little bit more than a quarter off the bottom of fresh water filtered water, nothing but the best at the Leonardi household, because the water is actually what's going to cook them. So as you can see, we've oiled them, we've put water about a little more, about a third of the way up, and they're ready to be covered and closed. Okay? Now, we take them and we put them over the fire. Just like at a festival. Yes. Hi, we're back. And as you can see, Daniele's uh, artichokes alla siciliano uh, is almost ready. You can see they're getting very tender and the water's almost gone. Most of that went into cooking these beautiful artichokes. So now we're going to take it from medium and knock it down to... A, uh, me, uh, low, not actually low all the way, but about medium low. Uh, and just let that simmer down for about another 15 minutes, it'll be ready. Okay, we're back and we're finished. As you can see, they're fully cooked and ready to eat. And there you have it, Mama's Carciofe. Okay, buon appetito e mangia.